Could a B-2 bomber land on an aircraft carrier? Typically, carrier-based jets are designed for the extreme forces involved in short, steep landings. Their reinforced landing gear can handle the impact, and they use a tail hook to catch the arresting wires on the deck, which rapidly slow the aircraft down. However, the B-2, with its delicate landing gear and wide wingspan, faces several major issues. For starters, the B-2 has a wingspan of 170 feet, far wider than the 120-foot landing deck on most carriers. This means that even if the bomber could approach the deck, part of its wings would likely collide with the island the tower structure on the carrier, causing catastrophic damage. Without a tail hook to catch the arresting wires, the B-2 would not be able to stop fast enough on the short deck, likely resulting in an overrun and crash into the ocean. In an absolute emergency, an experienced pilot might attempt a landing, but it would be risky. The best chance of survival would involve deploying the carrier's emergency barrier, a net designed to catch even heavy planes. But even if the bomber stopped in time, it would sustain severe damage, likely riding off the aircraft. In most cases, ejecting from the plane would be a far safer option.